Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over with you my favorite Korean beauty products. Now this is going to be only skincare. I'm going to do a separate one on makeup. But I'm so excited to finally be doing this video. I've been waiting for things to come in. That was restocking old favorites. I've been so into K-beauty these last few years and I feel like I've just found like holy grail like lifelong products, things I will take with me forever, things that are relatively inexpensive and like really get the job done. K-Beauty to me is really focusing on just a simple ingredient list. Now, not every Asian or Korean skincare product is going to be like the best and give you like the best results. You definitely have to know what you're looking for. And just so you know, overall well thought out ingredients. You know, there's no added dyes, there's very light if not any fragrance. The packaging is simple, you know, you know you're putting your money into the product and not how it's presented to you. What made me fall in love with K-Beauty, I think, is just the concentration on simplicity and quality. Now, it's just so great because you can find a lot of really great products without a hefty price tag. Some of these products can be hard to find, so I will make sure I link everything down below. So the majority of these products are actually really inexpensive. Uh, I think the most expensive thing I have is $40, um, but everything else is actually either $25 or well below it. And so it's really great to find these kinds of products and actually know what ingredients to look for because then you're not spending all these crazy amounts of money. You don't, you don't walk into Sephora or Ulta and you're not dropping 200 bucks just to like have good skin. You can have good skin, you can take care of it without breaking the bank. So firstly, I want to talk about the products that I know you guys have seen here on my channel. <laughs> you guys might laugh when I bring them up. There's only like two or three things that like will be repeats, but it's worth it. It's because I love them, that's why. So firstly, I want to talk about the Acne Pimple Master Patches from Coast RX. Now, these retail for an average $5. I have seen them recently in um, like Urban Outfitters, for example, but they're like six to seven dollars. I mean, it's not like a huge difference, but um, if you do have Amazon Prime, you can find them on Amazon for five dollars and not have to pay for additional shipping. Now, these little waterproof patches come in this little sleeve here, and <laughs> I have been using these well, as you can see. Now, you get 24 of them, and they come, I'm really trying to get it so you guys can see. They come in assorted sizes, so they have the small ones down here, medium sizes, and then a few larger ones mixed within. Now these are great because they actually stay on the skin all night. And so how I use these is I just peel off one of the patches, put it on clean skin over a blemish like the night before, I feel it coming up to the surface, or if you already have one and you want to dry it out, just put it on there overnight, sleep in it, and then peel it off in the morning. I like, time and time again, I'm always so surprised at how well these stick. Um, I'll put them on like the corner of my nose or something like that and I expect it to be off in the morning but it will stay on. I find that on average I may need one to two to really dry out just like an average pimple but maybe three if it's like a really deep one like it's it's gonna leave a scar. <laughs> um, but I mean for five dollars for 24 of these it's really not like you're throwing away your money here. I really do think that they dry out my blemishes. And you can see the oil that's absorbed on the patch. It's always like kind of gross to look at in the morning. But they don't leave a greasy residue. They don't leave any marks on my skin. The second I peel it off, it's like it never was there. But I really suggest you guys pick these up. I will link a few places that they are sold down below. They are just a great find. I don't actually remember who told me about these. Um, I've been using them for apps like so many years. Another product I know you guys have heard me talk about on this channel before, but I love it so much. It's the All Clean Balm by Hamish. Now I think this retails for about $16 to $20. It really depends. You know how like Amazon kind of fluctuates in their prices. Um, it's, it's within that range, but I mean you do get a lot of product in here. There's a very light scent to it, but it's not like perfume. It's just like medicinal. And it comes in like this white paste. And you kind of just break it down into a light oil. And as you warm it up on your skin, it turns into a very light oil and it really just effectively removes my makeup. Now this is something that if I'm staying out overnight, I might just bring this as both my makeup remover and my cleanser. I'll just go with a second round of it and I really feel like my skin is actually clean. I've been using this for years. It's never made me break out. I've never had any re reactions to it. The smell doesn't bother me. It really just is a great product. And in comparison to so many other cleansing bombs, it's like half the price. So while we're on cleansing, so this is a product I've used, 
um, kind of off and on for a few years. And it's the low pH gel cleanser. Now for about $10, you get 5.07 fluid ounces. It's a really good amount of product in here. And why I love it so much, why I was drawn to it, was the low pH. And so typically when you clean your skin, if you're not using the right products, your pH can kind of go out of balance. Now your skin should be at a pH from about 5 to 5.5. Now I do have pH strips and I have tested this and it is within that range. And so it keeps your skin at a really good pH level. It won't irritate it. It won't kind of make it feel dry. It's just like a good employee. It goes in, gets a job done and leaves, doesn't talk, doesn't do anything, doesn't bother you. Now it says it's formulated with purifying botanical ingredients. This low pH formula works to soothe, refresh, and soften the skin without the stripping feeling. And it does exactly that. Now there's no harsh smell. It's just like a really clean smell. Just like, I don't know, a cleanser smell. I can't even like describe it to you. It just smells like medicinal herbs. There's nothing perfumey about it. And I love that it's like the morning gel cleanser because it really is just like a really great cleanser to kind of like wake up your skin. Like when I wake up in the morning, even if I shower the night before, I will go in just like with like a tiny bit of this cleanser and go in there and just like refresh my skin before I go in with any moisturizer. Just a really great buy. You get a lot for your money. Just like a real, just like good staple to have. Now the next two products I want to talk about together because you guys have seen them on my channel before and I use them in conjunction with one another. So they are my Essence Toners. One is by the brand, I'm going to butcher it, Pyeong Kang Yul. And it's their, um, what is this? They're just their Essence Toner. And the other one is by Claire's and it's their Supple Preparation Toner. Now they recently came out with a unscented version of this which I have not tried but I'm really looking into it. Um, this one just smells like a little bit of lavender. There's really no harsh smell to it at all. Now I love using these products together because I do love using the skin method. And so how the skin method works, it's also a K-beauty kind of technique, is that you use, instead of a really heavy moisturizer, a bunch of layers of really lightweight toners. And so you can dampen a cotton ball or some sort of pad and wipe them on your skin. Or if you're really lazy like me, you can just like plop them in your hand and slap them on your face and then go to bed. <laughs> but why I love these so much is that they're packed with a lot of fermented plant extracts, which really calm and soothe the skin and add a lot of added hydration. And they also are pH balanced, and so they, again, just like the cleanser, will not mess up the pH balance of my skin. Why I also love these toners is that the ingredients in here are at different molecular weights, and so they're really going to seep deeper into the skin, which is what will really give you that like plump, supple, you know, pretty Asian girl skin. And that's like what I want. <laughs> These both retail for about 10 to $16. I think this one's a little more expensive toward the $16 mark. And let me see how much you get in here. So you get 6.8 ounces in this one. And then in this one, I think it was about $12. You get 6.08 fluid ounces. And so this one's a little bit cheaper by comparison, but they both work equally well. Um, if you were looking for one, just to kind of get into toners and essence toners, I would go with this one just because there is absolutely no smell. It's really gentle. It's hydrating. It's a little bit more of like a good, just like staple, beginner, go for it type of thing. If you're really looking to kind of like take it to the next level, I would go with this one from Claire's. So the next two products I want to talk about, I want to talk about together because they're by the same brand. Now this brand is actually the first Korean brand I've ever used. Now you guys have seen me talk about the Hyaluronic Acid Serum by Maison, and I recently got into using their sheet masks. Now their serum collection is really great. They have a really great snail serum, and they have a collagen serum, and I've just finished my Hyaluronic Acid Serum. They run for about, I think it's like $10, like not a whole lot, and you get one ounce or 1.01 to be very specific ounce it comes in a nice glass bottle you have a nice dropper right there and again they keep it very simple it's just you know it's the ingredient that they're talking about and that's really it i really love adding this to just whatever moisturizer i'm using it kind of gives it that extra edge to really just keep moisture within my skin and i recently have been loving their masks lately you can get a whole pack of 16 for about 16 dollars on amazon I recently picked up a few, <laughs> and so I'll be going through these very quickly because I love a good sheet mask. They have a huge range of ingredients and reasons why you would need them. My favorite is rose because I am a huge sucker for anything rose scented. So while we're on the topic of sheet masks, I have recently been loving um, these from Peach and Lily. So these are the two that I've tried. They are, what are they? Lift and Plump, and then Soothe and Restore. 
Now, Peach and Lily is an online company. Um, I was recently turned on to them because I was actually just reordering my usual Korean favorites. They just have like everything that you could ever need, Korean skincare. Like they're like, it's their specialty. But they do have a lot of their own products, and I really have been loving these. Um, the last time I actually placed an order with them, two of their sheet masks came with it for free, and I feel like that's a really great way to kind of just, you know, try new things. And I feel like these would go at another store for at least $10. Like, the packaging is, you know, really quality packaging. The product itself is really great. They make my skin feel really good. I'm like really great with my adjectives, really great, really good. <laughs> I'm really selling these products. So the next product I want to talk to you guys about is the only product I've used from this brand, but I've been really trying to explore more things that they offer. Now it's by the brand Shang Pri, and it's their, what is it, Perfection Essence Emulsion. And it's a three-in-one product. Now how it works is that it has lactic acid, which is going to help resurface your skin and make it more smooth. It has 17 botanicals, which are going to help calm and hydrate. It has white jelly mushroom, which I have no idea what it does. Hang on. So it just helps like sm like smooth and nourish. Whatever. I, I like it. Now this was about $25, and you get a good amount of product in it. You get 3.72 ounces. It comes with a really nice pump. And it smells like, I feel like I'm going to be the only one that appreciates the smell. Okay, so you guys know those, like, bug sprays that are meant, like, perfumed. Like, they're meant to kind of, like, cover the smell of the bug spray. And it's, like, meant to, you know, just smell like something good. And it almost has, like, that very strong, like, laundry smell mixed with like flowers, I don't know, it's so, but like that's the only way I can describe it. It has like the faintest smell of like a perfumed bug spray. I really like it, it's kind of reminiscent of summer. It doesn't last a very long time at all and it's a, the slightest smell, I just have a really good nose. But overall, I've been really loving this product. I use it typically at night just because of the lactic acid. Um, it's not like a vitamin C where I don't think it's really going to react harshly with the sun. Um, but anything I use that's resurfacing, I try not to put under makeup just in case it kind of causes some flaking. Now the brand Shang Pri is actually a spa skincare system. Now I actually read an article somewhere that Shang Pri doesn't allow their estheticians to go near a client until they like, I think it's like a year or something. It's like a really, really long time that they train specifically somewhere far away, like in their spa, and know everything there is to know about their products. And I don't know, I feel like I really appreciate that. I appreciate a brand that really invests in their, you know, their product, they invest in their vision, they invest in the people that they hire to really give quality skincare and like a good quality experience. Okay, so the last product I have to talk to you guys about is actually as of right now, and I think for a long time, is my favorite Korean skincare product of all time. It's something that I've used for years, and it makes me so happy to talk about it because, like, I remember the day I first bought it. It was, like, when the brand first came to Sephora, and I was like, oh, like, this is kind of interesting. Like, they're kind of bringing K-Beauty over here. It's, like, it was at the time they started to bring K-Beauty kind of to the forefront. And everything by the brand I love. I love their packaging, their vision, even their prices are fair. Now this product is by the brand Belief. Um, I've heard it said Belief or Belief. I think it's Belief. And it's their moisturizing aqua bomb. Now this is a moisturizer geared toward more oily combination skin types. It's a lot more lightweight, cooling, and gel-like. Now you get 1.67 fluid ounces. I think it's for $42, if not just under $40. Sorry, my camera cut out. I ran out of memory. Um, so I was talking about the Blyph Aqua Bomb and how I love that it has just like a little top hat like that. How cute is that? Now, it has this like light blue color and it smells... <sighs> the smells what does it for me. It just smells so clean. It smells like clean... Like a cleaning agent mixed with like fresh herbs. Oh my god, it's a smell that takes me back. So I like, remember the day I bought this, and it was like the summer, and I was just like, like on a shopping spree by myself, and that's like my favorite time. <laughs> now it goes on, it's immediately really cooling, and it sinks right into the skin, it's super moisturizing. So I'm just going to read to you what it says in the Sephora app. This formula contains a blend of apothecary herbs, including antioxidant-rich ladies' mantle, which helps neutralize skin-damaging free radicals. 
improves the skin elasticity, and minimizes the appearance of pores. The refreshing cream is formulated to burst when applied, releasing a flood of weightless moisture onto skin for a healthy, smooth, supple appearance. This product is dermatologist tested and free of mineral oils, petroleum, synthetic preservatives, dyes, fragrances, and animal origin ingredients. Honestly, you guys, like, this is just, like, it for me. Like, whenever I get a new moisturizer, I'm always like, oh, like, I, I just compare it to this. Because even on my driest days, this just gives me the perfect amount of moisture. And it, like, really seals everything in. Like, all of my toners and essence and anything else that I put on my skin before this, it kind of just, in a lightweight way, seals the deal. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. That is it for my K-Beauty skincare favorites. As always, I go through, I feel like I wish I had like a pre-recorded portion of this video that says, subscribe to my channel, be sure to comment below what you guys want to see next, and be sure to like this video to see more just like it. You guys get the drill. I'm also on Instagram, um, johnnyboots143, and Twitter, johnnyboots143 as well. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. I just farted.